Hello Tripsters! Welcome back! Or welcome to our channel if you are new here. If you like these videos, make sure to subscribe right away so you won't miss any updates. Yeah, so today we have another video and we are talking about the five best places that we have actually visited, mostly her. I haven't been to most of these places, but we're talking about the top five uh, kind of best places that we've visited so far. So this is not a definitive list. We haven't been everywhere in China, but the places that we have been are pretty cool and uh, we're going to talk about the five that we like the most. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start with number five, which is actually Hainan and she's been there twice. So she'll yes. tell you all about it. I have not been there yet. Hmm. I've been to Hainan twice in the time I've been in China and it is a really nice vacation and summer destination. The beaches are nice, it is very tropical, there is delicious seafood, there is abundance of fresh fruit which makes me really happy, like coconut especially. There are hotels with lovely pools to chill at. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, and beaches, and then not only that, there's also jungle and national parks which, that you can go explore. So it is a really diverse island, and there's something for everyone. Um, you can do water sports as well if you want to do like action stuff. So yeah, Hainan is a really nice place to go to. Yeah, so I've seen some of the videos that she's done in the past, and uh, also obviously got to see the photos and talk to her when she was there. And uh, yeah, it seems like a really cool place. I would love to go. Um, it's definitely on my list. Uh, maybe summertime? Summertime? Yeah. Um, make sure you go in a time that is not a Chinese holiday, I'd suggest. Yeah, and also because... avoid the rain, rainy season. Yes. I mean, because it does rain. It, it does is a rain. tropical island mm -hmm. and it's it's kind of down south, so and it's going to get wet. Yeah, and it's a very popular uh, summer destination for Russians. for Russians and for <laughs> Chinese alike. Yeah. So bear that in mind when you go there. All right, so one of the things that we're doing is answering the community question and what we asked in the last uh, question was, how long do you think we have been married? Um, so we'll answer that at the end. So stick around for that. But number four on our list is Young Shuo. Young Shuo. Yes. And again, I have not been there, uh, but this girl, because she has so much time off, yes. she gets to go everywhere all the time. Uh, so last you went and or tell them ago? about it. I think it was, no, it was last year. Two years ago, I went to Young Shuo. I flew into Guilin, uh, I had some extra time after our summer vacation and I decided to go explore that area and also there, very hot, very humid, so bear in mind when you go, think about that, what the best time is, but it's an amazing place, um, even to travel on your own, uh, you can hike, you can bike throughout the countryside and the countryside is amazing because the mountains, the Karst Mountains are just unbelievably, like unbelievably pretty, like what is that? How do you say that? Unbelievably. <laughs> Unbelievably. Um, you can go rafting on little on little rafts, so like flats. Is it a flat? Like a flat? A flat? Like an inner thing? No, it's like a flat bamboo little boat, but it's okay. Little. Anyways, you can do Did that you if do you it? like. No, I didn't do it. <laughs> so why are you mentioning it? <laughs> because you can do it if you like. I didn't want to do it because it was like super touristy. You can even take a boat from Guilin all the way to Yangshuo. Uh, I mostly biked actually because well I'm Dutch and that's what I like to do. Hmm. But yeah, it's really pretty there. Yeah, so this area is really famous, and if you uh, know anything about the currency here, it's on the twenty yuan note. Oh, yeah. Um, and so many people go there and they like to hold up the note and show the mountains while they're holding the note. Um, very popular. Uh, many people travel there every year, um, and it's one of like the top, usually in the top five of just about any list of places to visit in China. here in China. Yeah. So it's number four on ours because uh, one of us has actually been there. Mm -hmm. And so moving on to number three is Zhangjia J which is also a really cool kind of nature and kind of outdoor activity. Um, mm -hmm. These are actually known as the Avatar Mountains. And we went there uh, about, what, three years ago? And um, obviously, uh, we don't have a lot of good footage of that time because uh, we weren't really thinking about doing videos. No. Uh, but as you can see in the footage, um, there's actually uh, these beautiful mountains and there's also uh, one of the first glass bridges oh, yeah. um, which became kind of a popular thing about three years ago. We actually did a video about one near Beijing. You can check that out if you're interested. Mm -hmm. um, and so you can go out there, you can walk through the park because it's, it's a massive park actually. And so there's an area where there's just like the um, mountains that you can see that are like standing in the uh, kind of like standing up. They're kind of 
just like pillars in a way. Yeah, um, they're a little similar maybe to the, the ones in Young Shuo, but I think yeah. a lot taller and less lot taller. green. And um, yeah, I mean, if you've seen Avatar, you'll get an idea of what those actually kind of look like. And uh, it's really beautiful. Um, it's one of the best places that we've been. Obviously, yeah. we put it number three on our list. And uh, even though the area is not super developed, it is still a really nice place to uh, visit yeah. to see the natural beauty of China. And that's one of the things that people don't realize. China is such a large country that there's literally deserts and mountains and rainforests rain forest and, and islands and everything. like everything that you could want. I mean, everybody thinks like, oh, Shanghai, Beijing, Guan yeah. Guangzhou area. Um, or Hong Kong, but it's really, if you get out into the nature of China, oh, there's some amazing. really beautiful yeah. places. And so that's why it's number three on our list, because even though it was crowded... Mm. Um, May holiday! Yeah, it's just anywhere you go during Chinese holidays, just anywhere you go in China, there's a lot of people. I'm yes. sure you guys know this. Especially during holidays. Um, but especially during holidays. So be yeah. aware of that. If you can go in a non... Uh, peak time or a non uh, kind of like holiday yeah, time that would be better and also be better. if if you do go during holiday season like or during a holiday like we did with the Zhang Jia mm -hmm. go a little bit further go off the path the that main, is yeah. given to you like turn right because um, on our first day we took a different route and there was barely anybody there yeah well there's actually so. like walking trails too so when you go down into like the <laughs> actual like kind of the base of the mountains you can walk through the valley and like like the base of the mountains and do like nature hikes and that's yeah. actually much cooler than trying to be up at the top because up at the top there's just a ton of people there was and a lot um, of even people. though it's beautiful and you obviously have to go up and see it um, to get the best experience would be to kind of wander off and just kind of get away again like I said it's a major part there's a lot of, uh, of things you yeah. can do there and most people only come to the top they take the elevator there's this uh, glass elevator oh, thing, uh, one of the tallest elevators here in China or something like that. Again, one of these attractions, tallest elevator, biggest biggest glass bridge, yada, yada, yada. Um, so they take the elevator up and uh, then they walk out, they take a bunch of pictures and then they kind of go yeah. back down. And but if you get away from that, there's yeah. a lot of cool uh, hiking kind of areas and the paths and, like and said, like things you can do. Just get away from the crowds and then you'll find it's real beauty and then, yeah, you don't get squeezed. All right. All right, so moving, moving on, on to, to number, number two, two on our list of the oh. best places that we've been so far in China. Yes. And again, it's one I haven't been to, so oh. I'll let Yvonne yes. explain it and tell you what it is. I was lucky to go here last summer for a project. I did a documentary, uh, and I was able to go to Xinjiang. Uh, I traveled a part of the Silk Road, so from Beijing we took a train to uh, Xi'an, and there we started to go up to the north and to the west, all the way to Urumqi in Xinjiang. And oh, I can't even describe how amazing this trip was. I'm still editing all the videos. I'm almost at the end of the series. But um, again, China is so diverse. And on that trip, I literally saw all kinds of landscapes. Like I saw the rainbow mountains, grasslands mm -hmm. with like bright green grass, and then and the horizon mountains with snow on the top. Uh, I saw the, even in a desert. Too. Yeah, I saw the yeah. desert. I was about to say that I saw the desert. And then Urumqi, the city, the capital city, I saw like a, a bazaar there. there. So yeah. a lot of history, like very interesting. Yes, and like, also super very super yellow fields. Yeah, it was a whole different world. Mm -hmm. um, so it was such an amazing trip. Like, and I got to um, spend some time with a Kazakh family in mm -hmm. their yurt, which was so unique. Like they were talking about their life there, and yeah, this trying is trying the food. Yeah, yeah, trying your local food, like chatting with the father, playing with the daughters. Um, yeah, just really amazing. So if you guys actually want to see what she's talking about, if you go over to Go Yvonne, she actually has been editing this series of videos, yeah. and she's getting to the end of it, like she said, and they're actually really good. Um, she went with an actual film crew, and she was able to uh, get some of their footage. So there's yeah. uh, drone shots, and there's uh, a really lot of really awesome nice shots, really good yeah. B-roll, and it's, it's, it's really worth checking it's it out. It's really high quality stuff because again, she had a whole crew. She had two cameramen and a director who was yeah. helping with everything. So there was four of them on the trip, mm -hmm. and um, and we did it, a road trip all the way from Zhangye uh, all the way to Urumqi, which was like 
Yeah, like and so they they had uh, like a car and they could stop if they saw something cool to yeah. take good shots and like she said the Rainbow Mountain footage was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, just everything and was there really were, cool. Like, yucks on the road that we had to zigzag around <laughs> yeah. and like horses everywhere and cows. So it was a really amazing trip. I would love to go back and like yeah. spend some more, more time Maybe there. we will because I haven't been and again like I said she gets more time off and more opportunities to travel. So this is why she's been more places than me. Um, but that brings us to our number one. One. And oh, no. You may not Please. agree with this, but number one on our list is Beijing. Beijing. And we'll explain why. Why? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll explain why. So one of the things about Beijing is it is literally the culture epicenter kind of of China. I mean, you have the Forbidden City, you have the uh, Summer Palace, you have mm. the Temple of Heaven, you have the Great Wall, you have a, a lot of museums, the National Museum, you have Tiananmen Square, you have all these really kind of iconic Chinese mm -hmm. landmarks here. Yeah, the hutongs. Um, you have the hutongs, and then you have some modern stuff like the 798 Art District and, and um, the um, Nanlo Gusheng Hutong, which has been oh, redone, yeah. which is kind of a Very. cool area, a bit touristy, but uh, gives you kind of this kind of modern feel with all the little uh, vendors shops and shops and, and yeah. bars and stuff. And so Beijing is. It has a lot to offer. Beijing. Yeah, even right? when like. Well, you were mentioning the Great Wall, but there's also a lot of like nature around it. Like mm -hmm. if you drive for one or two hours, like it's still considered Beijing technically. Yeah. Uh, you're in nature. Like I've done some really nice hikes through the through, through rivers and through mountains. So it has a lot to offer. Yeah, and so I mean, I think just from a standpoint of yeah, it's got great food. If you think about Peking duck, um, you got lots of different yeah. food. You have a lot of different Go culture. Town. You got a lot of different things that just There's kind of combines everything that is China can be found here in Beijing. Mm -hmm. And so if there was only one place you could go, and this is kind of the way we're ranking it, if there's only one place you could go in China, where should you go? Beijing. Beijing, yeah. Like, cause you'll get well, you'll get the China feel. You'll get everything uh, mm -hmm. from the modern, uh, busy business district yeah. down in Guangzhou to historical sites, historical sites. experiences, yeah. local food. I mean, from the founding of the People's Republic of China. I mean, it mm -hmm. happened here in Beijing when Mao was up on the Rotostam and he said, "We're a country." I don't know what he said. <laughs> I'm assuming he said, we, "We're a country." Is this another like? Reenactment. <laughs> this is a reenactment. We are a country. Welcome to the People's Republic. I don't know. I shouldn't say that. I'll get in trouble for putting words in Miles' mouth. That sounds weird. Putting words in Miles' mouth. <laughs> anyways, we'll cut this part out. Um, but anyways, Beijing is uh, definitely a very uh, iconic uh, place. City. Yeah, and, and a must had visit. One one opportunity to come to China, and you could only go to one place. This is why we put it at number one. Beijing is amazing. Um, leave a comment below. Mm -hmm. What is your top five? Go yeah. ahead and put your top five in a list and then we can see if it's similar. Maybe oh, there's yeah. places that we haven't been that you have been that you, you could suggest to us and say, go here, oh, your yeah. top five will change. Yes, <laughs> I have a few in mind that I still like to go. We still yeah, want to go. We still want to go. I mean, to it. we haven't even been to Shenzhen, which would be cool. Oh yeah, um, like, I'm I think go I want to go there. Just I go. Just I go, yeah. yeah. Um, Tibet. Pretty gorgeous, Tibet. Yeah. Yeah. There's a Harbin couple places. For the Ice Festival. Yeah. So we have a long, long list. <laughs> There's a long, long list, but, but so far, these know. are the top five that we uh, think because these are the places that one of us or both of us have oh, been. Yeah. So leave a comment below. Let us know what your top five is. Give yeah. this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you Hit haven't done bell. so yet. Hit the Hit bell. Hit the bell. Ding, 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 ding. And uh, be sure to share this with your friends if you uh, think this list is interesting yeah. and uh, leave a comment. Yeah, and I'll, we'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye bye. bye. Huh? We didn't answer the question. Oh. oh. Wait. Hold Wait. On. There's, there's more. more. Uh, so we needed to answer the question yes. from the community post. And the community post was the question How was, long how... do you think we've been married? Yeah, so right. how. The um, majority of the people said, like, Four years? Most of the most of the I people think... said, "What? You're married?" Oh yeah, what? You're married, but <laughs> she's, she's so short. Than you <laughs> he's are. so short. Yeah, right. But um, we have. But been that married. was the joke. That yes. was the joke, and many of you got it. So because... thanks for hitting the. That makes us laugh yeah. when we put in a little joke, and you guys get it. Yeah. Um, but, but we have been married for three not one. years. Oh, not two, but three years. <laughs> wait, wait, what are you doing over there? <laughs> so yes, we've been married for three years and yeah. still going strong. 
Yes, and so our anniversary will be yesterday. By the time you see this. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is it today? No, it's not today. It's on the 25th. What yeah, day is it? Today is what? Two, three, <laughs> two, four. No, it's, what? it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Okay. So yeah, yesterday. <laughs> We don't know where we got married. It's we been three married. years. That's what happened. All Anyways, right. that's um, the answer. We've been married head, three years. Head over to our uh, community tab for the newest question. Yes, and, and uh, figure out, you. vote to see where you think we're going. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>